Hello, this is here from the Tutorial Academy. How are you guys? This is English uh, Oromo uh, uh, video series that we are learning how to communicate in Afan Oromo. So the video series um, is completely based on communicating in Afan Oromo, in how to communicate in Afan Oromo. So we pick phrases that has uh, that are typically uh, come up in communication, such as greeting is introducing oneself, asking uh, time, uh, and so on. Uh, so, to in today's video, though, I'm gonna introduce uh, how we call uh, body parts in a fan romo. That's also very important in communication. So today, this video uh, fully um, deals with the list of um, human body parts uh, and uh, their uh, Oromo names. So let's go. Um, body parts, we call body, body parts in Afan Romo is Kama Dagna. Um, so we start from top head, hair, so that is the hair on the head, so refensa mata, refensa mata, mata means head, refensa mata, refensa mata, mata as I said it is head, head the whole, the whole head, okay, uh, Bold is called molu, molu. Forehead, forehead alone is called adda, adda, adda. Eye, ija, ija, ija. Ear, gurra. Kurra, kurra, um, mouse, afan, so afan oromo means oromo language as well, as well, so it comes from the idea of mother tongue, afan is mouth, afan oromo, when we say afan oromo, it means also oromo language, nose, Funyan, Funyan, Chik, Maddi, Maddi, Eyebrow, Nyara, Nyara, Morma, sorry, it is reflected, Neck is Morma, Morma. Back is Dugda, Dugda, Dugda. So mouse, I already said, is a fan and also is a fan or a as less as language. Tongue is Araba, Araba, Araba. Chest is called la pe, la pe, so ph is just like in English petros and so on, so la pe, la pe, belly is called gara, 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 leg, it's called Mila, 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 Hand, it's called Harka, Harka, sometimes called Arka as well, without H, but normally it is Harka, Harka, Harka. Finger is Kuba, Kuba, 
Uh, I am not sure if you can pronounce the first sound. Ka, kuba. It is not kuba. It is not k, but this is ku. You have to practice kuba. The same here up, up here. Kama. Kama. Kuba. As finger. Nail. Another k sound is here. Kensa. It is not kensa again. It is kensa. 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 So there are lots of uh, internal bodies which I didn't trade uh, for now for this um, um, tutorial. I think these are uh, enough. I don't have to. I don't want to overload over overload you. So practice those. They are very important in communications. There are also uh, body parts that I ignored, like chin, like uh, eyelash. Um, so uh, maybe once you learn those, you can uh, communicate, uh, can learn others as well. But these are the most important parts. So um, repeat them one by one and uh, try to learn um, by repeating them, by um, saying them, by um, also trying to remember, associate them. But especially association learning is very important. So learn with the word, associate them with the words you know, or events you know, or any other thing that comes to your mind to associate. To associate. Uh, thank you for listening, and I see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye bye.